Hey team, it's Morgan. I wanted to do another quick video for you today. Um, just wanted to check in and see how everybody's month is going. I'm seeing a lot of really good things on our page. Lots of new presenters, lots of people hitting yellow, pink, fast start. I haven't had any new blues yet this month, but I think that there are some right around the corner and I think, I think we might have one or two new green elites and that's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for everybody. People are working hard and I love to see it. Um, but in addition to working hard, everyone's having a really good time and that's the whole point of this whole business. So, um, I just wanted to I don't know, make a video cause I have a minute without my kids. And, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about just as a sponsor, what your role is. I've had a couple questions recently about, you know, am I supposed to do this or this or this as a sponsor? Um, and I wanted to make it very clear as a sponsor, you're not like the parent of the person that you signed up, but you are responsible for training them. Um, that is part of the agreement that you enter into when someone signs up, you have or you have to at least try. Um, so as a sponsor, I, you know, you are expected to reach out to the people who sign up underneath you, provide them with training information. Um, and I've heard a couple times like, oh, I tagged her in all the documents, but she didn't do anything after I did that. And be like, well, maybe that's not going to be enough, especially if she's maybe not used to being tagged in a, you know, five documents in a row on Facebook. And then all of a sudden they're out of her notifications and she has no idea where that information was. So it's really important to not just tag and expect her to do all the work. Um, but say, Hey, I'm going to tag you in these, you know, five key documents on Morgan's page. They're in the files section. You know, this is where you look for them. I'm going to help you by tagging you. And then, um, you know, after a day or so follow up, say, let's get on the phone. Let's talk about what you heard on the new presenter training call. Let's talk about, um, you know, launching your first party. I want to be here for you. I want to answer your questions. Um, or, you know, when's a good time for you? Have you read these yet? Um, so just tagging and letting her run to the wind, um, is not always enough. There are some people who will sign up and they're just going to read everything that you offer and everything that's on the whole page. And they're going to learn every single thing. And that's awesome. I encourage that, but not everybody is like that. Not everybody has time, um, to do that right away. And um, the goal is to, you know, cash in when people are excited, they just signed up, they want to learn, they're ready to get started. That is the time to engage with the people that you're sponsoring. Um, and if you are brand new and you feel like you're, you're not getting what you need from your sponsor, reach out to the whole team, reach out to me, reach out to the other green elites, um, on our team, green and orange elites on our team. Um, there's so many sources of information and everybody is very open and helpful in, in helping train, um, and answering questions. So if you feel like you're not getting what you need, talk to your sponsors, say, Hey, I could use a little bit more help from you. And if they are not able to provide that help, you know, they will refer you on to the next person in line. Um, we want everybody to feel supportive. We don't want people to sign up and then just who knows what happened to her. Cause you know, I tagged her. No, that's not always enough. Um, please keep tagging people in the important information, but also follow up. Um, we have a lot, a lot of new people on our team, which is awesome, but they need to feel supported, um, and encouraged and, you know, we have to be able to, to help them on their, on their way. Welcome to the team. Um, and besides that, the rest of us, um, everyone's doing really well. People have been asking about the new approach to parties. Um, it's not so much like a, you know, it's not revolutionary. It just really is asking your hostess to be an engaged hostess to, you know, participate in the party. You want her to like and comment and email and message. Um, and I think it is good to tell people up front, like, Hey, this is, this is what makes a successful party. Um, and then, you know, she knows if she doesn't do any of those things that you asked her to do, then maybe that's why the party didn't go so hot. So that's another thing. Um, we had a kind of a conversation on my page and on Tina's page about, Oh, my party's not doing well blah, blah, blah. Um, it happens. It happens to all of us. I have had parties with one sale. I just closed a party that was over a thousand dollars. Do I know why exactly? No, or else I would write down the magic formula and I would give it to you and say, this is how you always have a thousand dollar party every single time. It doesn't exist. 
Um, so you need to go in and act like every party is going to be a thousand dollar plus party. You need to coach your hostess and you need to push through and you do your job. You keep posting, you tag, you comment, you, you know, you do everything you can do to engage people and then say it closes at $200. Great. You have a qualified party. Your hostess gets some rewards. Say it closes at $29. Okay. Open a new party, find a new hostess, keep networking in that group. Um, even if people aren't buying, they're still watching you. Um, so think of every party, every group that you post in that is a networking opportunity. Somebody there is watching you. Somebody there might want to be a customer. Somebody there might want to be a hostess. Somebody there might want to sign up and be a part of this company and, and join you on this journey. So treat every party, whether it's a boom or a bust, it's an opportunity. And I would, you know, not just because, you know, people have risen to, an elite status or higher it doesn't mean that every single party that they do is awesome. Everybody has low sales in parties. Um, the, the the key factor is that you just you keep going. You don't let that discourage you. Um, and it's okay to vent. Vent to your sponsor. Vent to your husband. Vent to your friend. Um, the team page not the best place for venting. We don't want negativity like that on our team page. It's okay to come ask for suggestions, but if you just need to mope or vent, like get it out somewhere else, please, <laughs> please. Um, cause like I said, we have a ton of new people and then say it was your first day with unique and you signed on to the team page and you're so excited. And the first thing you see is my party sucks, blah, 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 suck, suck, suck. Okay. That would not feel very good. You would not feel very excited or confident in your choice of companies that you just signed up with. When in reality, a lot of us are having a great time and, um, you know, we want to keep it uplifting on the team page. So I think that's about it. I'm just kind of talking now, um, enjoying my kid free time, like I said. So if you have any questions about what I just said or anything else, please comment below here and I'll be around for some Q&A. Thanks for watching.